Hey, 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 what's going on, everybody? Frankie Slauson here for another great Frankie Slauson show episode. And I think my parents are going to announce so I can actually do this little quick. Well, I don't know how quick we'll make it, but we'll try to go as quick as we can. Let me see here, real quick. Well, as you guys remember in the uh, last video that I made, my little birthday vlog and my general vlog update or update vlog or whatever you want to call it uh, I mentioned about doing a tour or an updated tour of my room now I want to let you guys kind of you know like a little secret or that because I've had this uh, question asked before here about uh, how this whole thing kind of started and whatnot and I want to be perfectly brief with all of you guys and I'll sit down here for a sec uh, I pretty much say I've always kind of wanted a room that I could, you know, or, or an office that I could just have, you know, just my own privacy. I'm sure you guys are the same way where you you want, a, you know, if you ever have a house or if you ever live with somebody or whatever, you want to have, you know, your own privacy. Almost like your own bedroom, close to it, but even like an extra room where you can just do whatever you want, put wherever, put yourself in wherever you want it to be, but you know that all your stuff is together. So that you don't have to worry about saying, did I forget something? You know, is, is this in another room or whatever? You know what I mean? I think you guys get what I'm talking about. Well, I've always kind of wanted that. And I never thought I'd ever be at my parents' house here. But even when I get on my own again, when I move out here next summer, I'm still going to make sure I have like an office or, or make some type of room, even if it's just my bedroom or whatever bedroom I have, to make sure that it's designed the way that I want to, to make sure that I mean I know a lot of people say when, when guys think about designing boy they, they must be queer then or whatever when they think that way no I don't I don't believe that I, I, I think that you can be a guy you can still be a straight guy and still appreciate the fine art of, of uh, making things look good you know no matter what no matter, on any budget you know even if you're poor even if you're broke I mean I've been there before where I've had no money at all but I've always figured out a way to make me satisfied on how things looked in, in my house or apartment or whatever. So, and that's never changed. It's just that when you have a little money, then you want you come up with these new ideas that you can afford or whatnot. And before I, I moved into mom, you know, mom dad's old or mom dad's house or whatever, and I uh, moved into well, I pretty much have everything in my sister's old room. That's why it's pink. That's one of the reasons why you see so much clutter around here. It's small, but it's pink. And, you know, I've gotten made fun of a few times from some of the people who are on, on YouTube here, let alone some of the people that have came over and checked this place out. And, you know, they kind of made fun of me a little bit because of the fact that it's a pink room. Well, it was never destined to be a pink room. It's just that before I moved in here, I mean, I could have thought about, you know, painting it and, you know, give it a little extra, a better color, which I should have. But already, you know, the things that were in here were the computer desk, and that's kind of a bitch to kind of move out because it's, you know, uh, you know, just because of how much room is limited over here to this door. I'm surprised how they even got it in here and, uh, and whatnot. But anyway, so I've always wanted to have my own room, bottom line. And it's always been something that I've wanted, you know, my own office. And this has always worked out pretty well. The only th distractions are my parents sometimes because they, they always they tend to come bug me at the most awkward moments. You know, it was so nice when I had my own place because then it's like, you, you don't have to worry about getting bugged unless it's from the people down below or upstairs or or the landlord saying, hey, you're you owe rent. You're you late on rent again. Well, hopefully that'll never happen again. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is I've always wanted my own office and, and I always will have my own office or a room dedicated to some of the things that I appreciate. Some people like to put up posters of Justin Bieber. I like, you know, collecting stuff that uh, that I grew up as a kid. And it all kind of starts with this. The DVDs. That's kind of where it kind of started as far as where my interest kind of drew. And I'm sure obviously everyone's seen what the DVDs look like. And I can honestly say that I, I've been actually saving DVDs or I've been started, I, I've been a, a fan of DVDs or collected them ever since about 2001, September of 2001, 
So it's been about nine years now that I've been collecting DVDs. I never thought, because I had a CD collection, I think a long time ago that you guys have seen before, that I had shitloads of CDs. I was big on collecting them, and let alone listening, but collecting them and just, you know, have them just to keep, you know, because I love music and I still do. Obviously, I, I got rid of most of my CDs that I didn't want anymore, but I wish I would have. But with DVDs, I've always kind of been a big fan of just, you know, movies, as you know, movies alone as well as films and stuff. I guess films are movies, I guess, and soundtracks and, and memorabilia. It was a friend of mine uh, who told me a while ago that, you know, Frankie, you like movies and stuff. Why don't you start finding, see if you can find some of this stuff on eBay? So these old posters and, and, and collectibles and stuff. I'm sure you can find something. If Sean C. Phillips <laughs> can find some stuff, I'm sure I can find some stuff on, you know, on eBay as well or wh however I can. Not to be messing with, with Sean Phillips because his room was also kind of what started this idea as well for me. Because uh, around where I live, as I, if I haven't said it enough, most people around here don't care about these type of things. You know, They'd rather do, go to a tractor convention or a doctor convention or a farmer's convention than go to a, a Comic-Con convention or, or a horror convention or whatever. You know, I'm kind of one of the inspirations around here. When people come over, like my friends or even family members that hardly ever come over or hardly ever see, they see this room and they're like, man, you know, I never thought, you know, we'd ever see the day that you you would ever uh, have something like this. But it's pretty cool. And one thing about me is I always take good care of my things. So I kind of just want to get, start, have that be a start of kind of explaining kind of myself a little bit because I don't think I've done that in past. In the other tour, updated tour that I did, last year around the holidays or whatever i didn't do that i didn't really explain it i just wanted to put this up as quick as i could and then you know have you guys view it so anyway so that's what what i'm talking about so mostly everything that is here you i'm sure you guys have seen before uh i just kind of mixed some things up a little bit compared to the last time that i updated like i got my gremlins one or two posters and a nice two i found these cheap frames that were 11 by 17 that I found from Walmart for five dollars a piece. Actually, I think they were four dollars a piece. Actually, and I use them and they've been fine. I don't need no expensive four hundred dollar frame for <laughs> for a ten dollar poster, you know. And you know, I, so some of the stuff I've kind of moved around just so I can find room for some of the new stuff, you know. But you know, like stuff of like a Don Hugh show. Uh, let's see what was this one? Cosby Cosby show. You know, camcorders, and this was just uh, something I got from a thrift store. You know, just, you know, stuff that they had that were retro. And I got, like, books, you know, a lot of books, you know, movie books, you know, based on, you know, movies, you know, like Batman, Ghost Rider, and I even think I got uh, Adam's Family Values. All these I found at Salvation Army, Jungle Jungle, Home Alone, and Indiana Jones. And DVDs, I mean, I have, I've counted, I haven't really counted, but I, I know in my head anyway that I have at least over a thousand by now. I mean, I would say, I'm not going to go through all these, because you guys have seen these before. But, you know, picture of Vigo. I mean, as, as Lance Warlock was saying, that everybody who has an office should have a picture of Henry Winkler, the Fonz, for, uh, you know, for inspiration. Well, I don't have that, so I ha had to get myself a, a picture of Vigo. For my inspirational room, you know, what's more inspirational than Vigo the Carpathian? <laughs> ah, I probably belong in a. By saying that, I probably belong in a nut house now. But hey, that's just how I feel, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, as you know, when we went to Grand Forks, my friend John and I, we we got this Coca Cola at that uh, flashback store. We found this Coca Cola shirt from 1994. Always fat, always Coca Cola. You know, I thought it was pretty cool. My friend Greg gave me this uh, Three Stooges uh, tin. It's not a poster. It's a tin that I was able to hang out. It looks like a poster from here, but it's actually a tin. A tin poster. Uh, Old-fashioned posters. And I got, you know, like, you know, stuff up on the ceiling. You know, I mean, I got uh, sidekicks, you know, that I got this summer. I even got a nice throw, kind of a wall hanger thing, of Batman from the original Batman movie. I put it up here. In the